actually use this methodology to identify hotspots. When you normally diagnose HIV infected people, they could be infected for five years, ten years, or in last one year. We don't know when they are infected. We need to know who is getting infected now for the prevention purposes. The total number of people who are infected, it's useful for planning in terms of how many people will need care or treatment. Have we made an impact? Are there any hotspots? This recency test or the recent infection test allows us to find those hotspots in real time because this test can be done at the site level. We don't have to transport specimen to the lab, which was the only way to do that before. This uh, recency test is actually a modification of a routine diagnostic test that we do. It's very similar to pregnancy test. So it has a control line, a diagnostic line. HIV is there or not there. What we have done actually simplified it, added a third line to say whether it's a recent infection or a long-term infection. Now you can actually identify the people who are recently infected, same place in a point of care. And we want to identify it as early as possible and nip it in the bud. This tool allows us to detect new infection before it spreads. This new tool, the rapid incidence test, will allow us to really go to the source where the people are getting infected and then prevent further transmission as quickly as possible. In US as well as many other countries that we are working. We did a lot of work in-house in CDC. This is a new concept. Nobody has done this before. I've been working on this for the last 20 years. Am I making a difference? Uh, I do think I'm making a difference. The people who are working with me are very excited. We believe that we are making an impact.